Welcome to Las Vegas and the 2013 SEMA show. My name is Dean Case. I'm the communications officer for Mazda Motorsports. But we're not going to talk racing so much today. We're going to talk design. I'm with Derek Jenkins, the design director for Mazda. Good morning, Dean. How are you doing? Pretty cool. Uh, we've got some neat cars here. You, your team's been working some long hours the last couple of months. Yeah, it's always kind of crazy running up to SEMA, you know, building these cars. It's always a little frantic. Tons of parts, tons of details. but. Once again, we pulled it off, I think. I think the paint is dry? It is dry, yes. I've so, made uh, sure of that myself. Now, your title, you're the design director. Correct, yeah. So that kind of means that you've got a team. You're not doing all the little nuts and bolts yourself. Right. You want to tell us about the team that put these cars together? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's this type of effort is not a one-man show, you know, and I'm really lucky because I have a very talented team behind me, so when I'm pointing and hand-waving, they're the real talent behind uh, building these cars. So why don't we introduce them? Guys, come on in. So this is Nubia, Min, and Jack. And this is really the talent behind the development of these cars. This team does everything from the exterior graphics. They help develop all the paint work, do the interior design. Even the auto show stand here has been uh, you know, developed by this team. And we're just so lucky to have such a talented group working on these amazing cars. Well, it, it's great also the fact that, you know, everything integrates the display and the cars, everything looks like it came out of the same place. I mean, that's the thing. We're really, you know, as a group, so proud of this because I think it's the most uh, complete show we've done here at SEMA to date. We, we posted a couple of photos already to Facebook, and we've got people who already want to order the cars. So, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got people with a very, very strong reactions. Excellent. So, so why don't we switch gears, and let's have you walk us through these four great cars in the display. Let's do it. We're looking at the Mazda Club Sport 3, which I like. I'll have Derek here walk you through it. But notice we've got some race car. Lo looks like a race car splitter in the front. Graphics a little bit similar to our race car. Yes. Derek, let's walk us through from end to end what you've done on the exterior of this great looking car. Yeah, you're right on, Dean. I mean, this is definitely very motorsports inspired. Um, we're lucky with the Mazda 3 because the car's already like really dynamic and really sporty. Uh, it's got almost a coupe-like quality. And you see in the front here, we have a new uh, splitter up front. This runs around the side of the car and around to the rear. Just gives a little bit more ground effects. Definitely very race inspired, very minimal. Um, and this part will be available through the dealerships uh, when the car, as the car uh, gets unveiled. Um, you, you asked about the motorsports graphics. You can see this kind of picks up the key lines of the vehicle, front and rear. And then we've done a lot of uh, what we call graphic diffusion. So there's a lot of kind of speed and dynamic that's created uh, with these key graphics through the body, down below here with the ground effects and then through to the rear fender again, it picks up again onto the rear fender line. And all of this ties back to what we've been doing on our motorsports efforts with the Mazda 6 GX uh, diesel race vehicle. Has a similar look and feel to it, and so we're trying to bring that more to the street now. Um, in addition, this car gets the black roof, also the accessory tail spoiler, and we have these amazing 19-inch uh, um, raised wheels, which I think really complement the stance of the car and really make it pop. You know, really brings the best out in this particular vehicle. So now, the real heart and soul of the car, though, is, was the driver feel. It's like, you want to have a good-looking car, but ultimately, is this is where the driver sits. This is where you're going to command it. Dara, Walk us through. And your team actually, you guys designed the stock production car, correct? Yeah, I mean, we're we're really excited about the new Mazda 3 interior. My team was intimately involved with the production vehicle and the basic design uh, of the interior. And this really represents the next big step in Mazda interior design, which is, I think, so important to the customer. Um, you know, and how how they live with a car. This is really where it all takes place. They spend all the time here. Um, in this particular case, we took the interior and just kind of enhanced it, got a little more sporty and a little bit more sophisticated. And you can see this touch I really like. We came in and retrimmed our, which is normally our metal accent. We retrimmed in the leather with the double stitching, you know, highlighted that through the steering wheel, got the little nod to the racing up top with the center stripe. Um, and even on the seat, you can see we've embossed 
uh, laser embossed the, uh, the three logo, which is really cool. And just enhance the car, really push it a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more sporty. I mean, that's what coming to the SEMA show is all about for us. You guys have another hit with the three here. I hope so. So, and let's get some on the racetrack, too. <laughs> yes, please. Derek, I love the look of the six. I mean, it, I think the, the word that comes to mind is stealth. Yeah. This is not the one that's rest me red. This right. is a little more subtle, but just walk us through. I mean, understated performance. Yeah, here, I think yeah. I mean, that's that's the basic idea with this car. It's a, you said it. It's a kind of stealthier feeling, more of a street look. And in this particular case, we're just taking all the great attributes of the Mazda six and just enhancing it, you know, really pushing it to the next level, but not going over the top. We call this the CS6 diesel. Uh, it's obviously our 2.5 diesel, turbo diesel engine. This car we've come through and done a custom aero kit, uh, diffuser on the front, side, and rear. Again, that just kind of enhances the stance of the car, brings it down onto the ground, makes it look a little bit more aggressive. We've gone with the 20-inch raised wheel again and just really pops this car, you know, really punches it out. I like the fact that you've got big brakes in there. I mean, one of the things I hate is when you got big wheels but little tiny brakes. This looks like a complete package. How did you decide how big was big enough and not too big? Well, in this particular case, you know, we're focused on getting a balance between the wheel size and the brake size. You know, a lot of times when people t tune their cars, they don't up, up the brakes, you know. So in this case, we went with the six-piston six caliper from Brembo and really fills out that 20-inch, and, of course, they work incredible. Um, but I think the whole thing, you know, down to even this, um, the, the gray finish that we've done, really just enhances what's already a... Uh, a pretty phenomenal car and uh, we're really excited about it and I always tell tell the guys in the studio I think this is the of all the cars this is the car that I would personally most want to like own and drive uh, of, of our uh, group of cars we have here today well you gotta you know it's like I said it's not gonna be the, attracting the wrong attention right. if you're two or three miles above the speed limit but it's just man it looks great thanks man appreciate it now we're wrapping up here with the Mazda 6 race car. About 10 months ago, you and I stood in front of this car, I think at the Detroit Auto Show. You guys did all the wrap, you know, the design work on this one. That's right, yeah, we did all the body work, we did everything in the computer, worked with Speed Source to develop all that. They did the aerodynamic testing, and then we did the paint scheme and graphics for it. And I think you got ripped off, because I got to go all the races. We got we won nine races with this car, and I don't think you got to go to any of the races. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't send the designers to the races, you know. Maybe you can help me out with that. I may have to work on that, but, you know, you guys are doing some great stuff, but ultimately, what do you do next? Who do you call in once your design work is done? We What's call next? we call marketing so they can, you know, creatively tell the world about them. So I think, you know, the SEMA show is big and we've got a lot of the marketing guys. Russell, Russell Weiger, come on in here. He doesn't like to talk on video, but here is the marketing guru of Jeez. all Mazda. Nah, you don't downplay this, but you've got some great stuff to work with. you got your own talented team. You know, what are you doing with this thing? You know, tell us how we're getting the word out beyond just our core group here. Well, Derek and his team make this really easy for us. You know, when you have the products like uh, his team has been designing and these ones especially here uh, this week, it makes it easier for us. I mean, when we talk about our campaign being the game changer campaign, the cars truly live up to that. So uh, it makes it easier for us to explain what's behind the cars when they look as good as they do. Um, and we've got some good stuff in store for uh, the new Mazda 3 coming out a little bit later this year. Well, it's been great when we're at the racetrack. we got a lot of people who know what Skyactiv is, and that's in credit to your team getting the word out there. You know, Skyactiv's not an easy thing. Everyone just thinks it's all about a great fuel economy engine, and that's one part of it, and that's a big part of it, and that's great. But it's got so much more behind it, and we're just trying to tell that story from the, the lighter chassis to the transmission to all the other elements of it. Um, it's a great story for Mazda. Yeah, it's a shame that everyone can't come and see this here at SEMA. This is a close for the trade only show, but you got to come out and here again. Your team got some amazing displays at the various auto shows, upcoming LA and Detroit. You know, we're going to be showing a lot of, uh, besides these cars, some of the other ones that are just going on sale with the new Mazda 3. Um, obviously, the Mazda 6 is doing great for us, the CX 5 is doing outstanding. Um, but we just love seeing the activity around the cars. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Um, Customers really like the way the cars are coming out, the way they look. And then the last part is we're trying to get as many people to drive them because they drive as good as they look. 
Thank you. Go visit your Mazda dealer and uh, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter.